Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna be painting some very well-fed kitty cats. <laughs> well, maybe not one of them. One of them is like a, he gets around, he exercises. But we're gonna be painting some fun, cute, loose style kitty cats. Um, I love painting animals in this kind of cutesy children's book illustration style. Um, it's fun for creating prints and patterns and just a really fun activity to do by yourself because I paint cats like this all the time and I'm just over here giggling to myself or you can paint with your kids or with your friends. Um, let's dive in. Okay, so for these cutesy kitties that we're gonna be painting, we're gonna, just like when I did my dog tutorial, we are going to be just imagining their shape. So I'm gonna start with a gray kitty. We're gonna do some spots on the gray kitty. So I'm gonna start with a really light brownish gray. Get rid of most of it off my brush and just uh, grab water for my base layer. And I am going to start with a C curve. So. You might not be able to see that very well, but it's just a C curve for the side of the body of the cat. And I'm going to come up for the head of the cat here and bring down a little fat belly here. And this is gonna be <laughs> the bottom of the kitty. And I'm gonna make sure that this, the body of this cat stays really wet because I'm gonna add some wet and wet spots to it. So now we're gonna paint in the tail and I'm gonna go back to my brownish grayish mixture in my palette and I'm going to poke in the tail here and just put pressure on the brush for an S curve. Here, so there's one spot. Maybe we have another spot up here. And now we're gonna give him some ears, little pointy triangle guys. He is really chubby. <laughs> like so. So here is our base layer. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with a darker color and give him some arms and eyes and whiskers. Our next kitty, let's do a black cat. Maybe this cat is curled up in a little spot of sunshine. So we're gonna give him a big round booty C curve. And it's gonna curve down to his little head. So we've got like a little bean shape. Maybe this is his leg here and the rest of his body. ear down here. He's got a paw under his chin. Maybe sticking out. Or maybe that's his other ear. And let's give him a tail. lounging kitty. Then our next kitty, let's do another lazy fat cat. Maybe an orange tabby. Let's grab some cadmium orange, some yellow ochre, and some burnt umber. This 
this will be our darker color. So I'm gonna grab some of it on my brush and then release it in my water cup to make it lighter. And let's do just like a really swoopy C curve. So he's bending over. Maybe his legs coming down here, his right leg. Let's have his tail going between his legs. It's one of the, my favorite poses that cats do. painting cutie animals like this because I'm just always giggling to myself with how ridiculous they look. <laughs> so he's a tabby. <laughs> that is the fattest cat on planet Earth. So we're gonna give him some stripes. The base layer is still wet so it's got this blurry effect which is cool. He's a really large cat. He definitely needs a diet. Or, you know, you do you. Okay, in our next pose, maybe we'll just have a normal skinny standing up cat. Um, let's do a calico. So we've got gray with some brownish spots, a black cat, a tabby cat. Let's do a calico cat. So let's just say this noble, noble kitty is more active than the other kitties in the bunch. So he's got a little head, kind of a eight shape for his body. And then we're gonna bring some He's got his front paws coming down here. Now we can start plugging in his spots. He's got black and brown spots. ears. Then I'm going to give him some black, not shoes, obviously, but little feet. So you can see him better. And then I'm going to, with a dry brush, soak up some of his face um, so that his black eyeballs can be this. Um, visible. So I'm just kind of removing some of that wet paint, like so. Accentuating where his front arms are. There we go. Now we can add some eyeballs, some noses, and some whiskers. So I'm going to use some black paint and just the tip of my brush. And to make these chubby boys look even chubbier, we're just gonna give them these tiny little beady eyes. <laughs> and a little... Cute. Same over here. 
tiny little beady eyes. So his face was still a little wet, so his eyes are a bit blurry. So you wanna wait till this is dry. <laughs> but we're gonna leave that. <laughs> that guy is strong. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's a chub. <laughs> This face is a mess. <laughs> so we're going to fix it with a dry brush, but just follow my advice and wait for that to dry. A little impatient. And this guy, you can't see his face because he's sleeping. Same thing, little beaties. And there you go. Chubby cats. There you have it. So I went back in on this orange tabby cat, waited for it to dry and accentuated his whiskers and eyes that got blurry because I went too quick and it was still wet. Um, but make sure you wait till they, they dry before you add those black details so they don't get blurry. Try out some different shapes, some different curves, but it's really all about imagining those basic curves um, for whatever position the animal or the cat has. So if it's an S curve or a C curve or how arched the C curve is, et cetera, all depends on the pose and how chubby you want the animal to be. I would love to know which kitty cat was your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. Was it this gray spotty kitty, the black cat, the orange tabby or the calico cat? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.